Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the video data that we've collected making 1,200 something videos for the channel. It's called metadata. It's really data about the data. And we're going to talk a little bit about it and see what we learned about what we've done the last five years making videos. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. I know metadata sounds like a big fancy word, but today you know you just go to Wikipedia and here you go. It's descriptive metadata, it could be structural, it could be administrative. It's really a lot of things. It depends on which way you want to look at it. And it tells you a little bit about the data, you know. Like, and we'll look at some examples in a minute. But when you start looking at like statistical metadata, that's when you start looking at how things are laid out. Things get really interesting. I'm not interested in legal metadata. But metadata is really just data about the data. Now you've got all these videos, and we can look at a lot of various things about them. But you know, it doesn't just have to be videos card catalogs that you used to find in the old libraries back when you used to go to those remember to do research pages and have to write papers for school this is all long before pre-internet when you could just go do it at your desk but anyway card catalogs are metadata because they tell you about the author and the title and the subject and the same thing can be applied to plants so you can divide the plant data up and make it into different layers so that you have a different way of analyzing it and talking about it so again just data about the data so now let's look at what we're talking about here our video data well these are our videos produced by month over the last five years so now let's examine what went on during that five years and see if we have any interesting things we might see now some of the data that we can pick up from this chart is pretty obvious like right here our first video came out in 2016 so that's when we produced our first video and as you can see we produced one video and then we had a gap of two months where nothing came out and then in October we released 14 videos now these videos were kind of easy to produce it was mainly just taking raw footage from Ken and dropping it onto the channel and that became a video so there was no entrance there was no exiting there was no titling um, we added all that and we got better at it before we got to the end of October but as you can see we were kind of a gap there we threw out one video and didn't do anything for two months then we throw out 14 in a month and then there's a big gap now we're going to talk a little bit about the gap and what happened right after it and then after that burst of videos in October you can see where we came out we had a gap of two months where nothing really happened again until January of 2017 well that was because in October and in November Mark and Kelly Matthews took us uh, Luann and I to Hawaii we ended up buying a condo out there but anyway we spent two weeks with them and then we got home and I had to turn around and go to Ken's shop because Ken needed some help one of his mechanics had a leg problem so anyway while I was there I shot lots of videos so then I come home and we get to the January frame where you see ooh, look in January we produced a bunch of videos and then right next to it look at the spike in February and now let's talk about that so while I was at Ken's we had a different attitude we started looking at ooh, there's a video and that little piece of information so while I was at Ken's I shot a ton of video several cards worth on my camera and then when I got home as you can see we produced a lot of videos in January but then in February I still had all the data that was coming in from my shop because we were shooting video with every airplane we were working on and we were doing little batches customers were serving a shop monkey to hold the camera for me we had entrance and exiting started on our thing but why 109 in February that was because in February of 2017 we had a big snow and ice storm come through we got about 18 inches of snow here shut everything down there was no fun going to the airport all I did was stay home by the wood stove in a warm house watch the snow and pump out video so that's how we made 109 in one month and as you can see we were producing videos at a pretty pretty goodly rate and you can see the slow times when we only produced several dozens per month but then we get to the month of May and that's when I had my accident and what's interesting about that is is that if you look at what we were producing in May in half the month of May we produced more videos than we'd done in the entire month of April the month before so we were on an upswing on producing videos then I had my accident and that's where we have that gap in there where you don't really see a lot for several months so I was kind of busy staying alive in the hospital, but then uh, Luann always wanted me to make another video because 
the time I had my accident, we had 666 videos made on the channel. Luann wasn't happy about that number, so as soon as I could, I got to the airport and I made my forced landing video talking about what happened to the airplane, what happened to me, just to tell people about it. And that became video 667, but that was also the video that really launched our channel. It got our membership up, it got a lot of views for us, and we kind of talked about channel you know on YouTube nothing big but it was just an interesting topic and it was a brave thing that we did I'm kind of glad we did it now though it was with some trepidation when I made that video back in September so anyway we've been working our way back making videos and as you can see that gives our distribution a statistical term called bimodal you can see the bunch of videos we made before my accident and you can see with the ones that we've made before now the good news is we're not up to the number we haven't made 666 videos since the accident but when we start looking at the statistics of what we've done before accident and after this accident I think you're gonna find it very interesting and we're gonna be covering that right now we're gonna have a little fun while we do it so stay tuned so let's talk about the first 666 videos they accounted for 3,000 I'm sorry, 320,749 seconds of video. That's 89.02 hours. That's 482 seconds for an average video time. That's 8 minutes and 2 seconds when you go to watch it. So that's what we did in the first 666 videos. Now, in the second um, batch of videos, now after the accident, our videos, we had 342,180 seconds. That's 95.05 hours. So we've already produced more content after the accident, even with less videos. That's an average of um, 567 seconds per video. That's 9 minutes and 27 seconds for most of us. Now let's talk about the videos overall. So looking at some of the overall numbers, uh, as of the time we produced this, we had done 1,278 videos. That's 523 seconds per video on an average, 8 minutes and 42 seconds view duration. And to organize them, we have them in 32 playlists to help you find them. So that's when you look at it all all the videos together then we can also look at we can look at the total views that we have received 1,358,751 that means that each video individually got an average of 1,063 views and if you look at our total number of likes over all our videos each video on an average receives 16 likes and we looked at the same thing for the dislikes and we can see we've had 1,011 dislikes across all our videos, and that's an average of about one per video. So we know, ladies and gentlemen, that's a lot to take in. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I hope you found all this useful and informative. It's amazing what you can find in a little bit of data. Again, thanks for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman. Well, let me apologize for the lighting, because a lot of times I don't have time to go turn on a light when I want to film them playing with paper on the floor or wrestling with each other. A lot of times it happens in the wee hours of the night and I just can't throw enough light on there. So please accept my apology and enjoy their antics and their fun. Thank you.